So we're technically using lab in the lab. And then we're gonna go watch Dexter's lab. Hey, what up y'all? Mr. Cruz here, your friendly neighborhood producer, back with another video. And in today's video, we are taking a look at another free plugin from Spitfire Audio called Labs. So we're technically using lab in the lab. And then we're gonna go watch Dexter's lab. Lab is a free plugin from Spitfire Audio. They have a lot of really good stuff, really high quality stuff, especially if you're into like orchestral, choral kind of music. Not necessarily music, but like those kind of sounds. So they have this free plugin and it's actually been out for a minute. I've just now recently kind of come into it and decided to check it out. And Labs is kind of similar to like how Contact does it where like, the player is free, but then like you have to buy like the libraries and stuff like that. But they do give you a lot of free instruments that you can use to start out with. And then of course there's like certain instruments that like you can buy for the future to kind of keep the longevity of labs going. It's kind of weird because Spitfire Audio was the name of my first mixtape. All right, no more dad jokes for the rest of the video, I promise. So I'm gonna go over some of the parameters and a little bit of what we see here. It's really simple and streamlined as far as like the user interface, but still let's go over some of the things. So up here, I like that it gives you like a reference for like how much RAM and how much CPU your plugin is using. FL kind of has something similar to that with this, like the, the performance monitor, which helps you to identify when like a plugin is really juiced. And voices allows you to see, like it gives you an indication of how many samples are being used whenever you're triggering an instrument or whenever you're triggering a key. So even though it says zero right now, right? I'm gonna hit one key and then you'll see it triggered eight. That's like me anytime I post on Twitter, like how many people get triggered? Dang! Oh shoot, that was kind of fire. So that's kind of how voices work. So this is kind of a button inspired by Sony because what it does is it'll reset everything the same way that Sony wishes they could reset time back to before they decided to pass on Marvel. And reverb gives you a couple of different options for the type of reverb that you can use. And the type of reverb will kind of show up here, but we'll go over that in a second. And then you have tune pan and then your volume knob up here. And this little button right here that opens up settings allows you to set the maximum amount of voices. And remember that voices is how many samples are being triggered, not necessarily how many notes you can hit at the same time. So this stuff right here is kind of where we get into like the nitty gritties. With this, this right here pretty much functions as a volume knob, all right? So it's kind of weird how like it includes two because you have this right here that kind of controls volume and you also have the volume fader over here. This has a couple of different applications. So you never quite really know and it doesn't quite explain what this fader right here is going to impact or affect in terms of your instrument. But from what I understand, this mostly controls the dynamics. So it's kind of like adding a compressor, but that's not really always the case. And this right here is the aspect of labs, which allows it to like probably not use as much memory. Y'all ever seen that movie Memento? So when you click this button right here, it opens up these settings on the side, whichever one you have selected at the moment is gonna be whatever applies or gets impacted by this kind of makeshift knob right here. So right now, since release is selected, I'm gonna have it so it has no release. Um, if I hit attack, so it has a little bit of attack and give it a little bit more. Variation is going to affect wherever the sample start time is of that instrument or whatever sample you're using. So the more you increase it, the more random the start time is gonna be for whatever sample it is that you're triggering. And then you have reverb. And then again, remember that reverb up here, you can kind of select a different type of reverb if you want to. So I had to go to a different preset to find this, but I also wanted to show you guys tightness. And with the tightness setting, what ends up happening is that tightness, the more that you increase it, the more your music starts to sound like Mr. Cruz. See, like I said, there was gonna be no more dad jokes and I lied. But in actuality, what tightness does is increasing it will change where the sample start time is. So variation randomizes the start time of the sample, but tightness will just automatically change where that start time is. So you'll either have variation or tightness, but I don't think you'll ever have both of them at the same time. All right, so enough of that. Let's go ahead and start playing around with this. Uh, I've got this loop here. Let's go ahead and take a listen.
pianos were were all right. They weren't so bad. I liked them. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the synth because initially what I had on this was like a flute synth. If we could find something similar to that, that would be fire. So I got to stop it right there because I got to find whatever this patch is and save it because that jaunt is flames. So by now, y'all know, I love it when a plugin has a lot of presets. This one seems to have a ton of different presets that we can use and pick from. Not all of them are great. I probably won't really use something like drone a whole lot. I probably won't use something like um, untuned percussions a whole lot. But with the stuff that we do get, I could see myself using a lot of them as like pad sounds or something that's playing like underneath, like a really hard or like a really stabby kind of like synth sound. But overall, labs is definitely welcomed in the lab. I will allow it to be the busted down RV to my Walter White. Well, that's what I got for you guys. If you feel like you've enjoyed and you learned something, make sure you hit that like button, drop a comment below and let me know what you guys think of Spitfire Audio's free plugin labs. If you're interested in checking out another free piano plugin, click this video right here. Other than that, it's your boy, Mr. Cruz out.